Oh, simple blues chug. Here's what you're going to learn. Or you could do it like this. Hi, I'm Shane Spiel, and welcome to my Blues University. In this lesson, I'm going to show you a very, very simple blues chug. What is a chug? It's a chugging rhythm. It gives you that like that train rhythm. Oh yeah, train keep rolling all night long. Train keep rolling all night long. And this is an easy lesson. Your hand is not going to move anywhere. It's going to stay in one position and this slide is just going to be going up and down in one area and that's it. So if you are a beginner, this is a lesson for you. If you have been playing for a while and you've never used this riff, steal it write a new song that's what i want you to do i want you guys to be making your own music there's nothing like first making your own guitar and then making your own songs off of it what you're going to need is a three string slide cigar box guitar this one is tuned in the key of g open g which is g d g g d g the high string is an octave above the low string. So it's the same note, but an octave is 12 steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So this high string is 12 steps up above this low string. This cigar box guitar is straight from the plans that I show in my book, Making Poor Man's Guitars. That's how you support this channel, is check out stubbyslide.com. I've got autographed copies of this there. I've got my slides as well. This lesson does not require a stubby slide. In fact, I chose a longer slide. This is the Brass Mother. It's one of the new slides over at Stubby Slide. It's a heavy mass, big hunk of brass that works great for acoustic guitar, for certain cigar box guitar stuff um, and so I chose it because it's longer because many of you have said Shane you know what if I don't have a stubby slide well this lesson is for you no matter what kind of slide you have this should work and that's what we're gonna be doing so you know how Blues University goes we're gonna break things down from the picking hand to the slide hand let's start with the picking hand this hand is going to be doing nothing but simple strums it is not going to be doing any individual strings it is going to be raking across all string like this now i'm going to slow it down and remember this pick put your pick in your fingers and be relaxed do not grab and choke the crap out of it no hold the pick nice and relaxed and then just be relaxed as you hold your guitar. And you just want, you just want to just be, just keep your hand going back and forth in time. Just take it very slow and go. If you're not relaxed, Get relaxed. Playing guitar should not be stressful. Playing the blues should be therapeutic. Just keep strumming like that. That's what we want. Just now repeat this video over and over and keep playing that. Get that simple strum down. However you do it, some people like to move their arm the whole way. Me, I like to just use the wrist. That's all the strumming you're gonna need for this entire lesson. So let's look at this slide hand. I'm gonna show you two ways of playing this. One where the slide is going across all three strings. And another way where the slide is only gonna be touching the low string. So let's dig into this. So the riff goes like this.
And all that slide is doing is I'm positioning my hand where the third fret is. The third fret is kind of like over where my palm is. So this slide just gets banged right on top of the third fret. And my hand is not moving. I'm taking my index finger and as I hit the third fret with the slide, that index finger comes down and dampens the strings behind it to keep that slide sounding nice and clean. So this riff goes like this. Two strums open and then put the slide on the third fret and two strums there. Now repeat over and over and over. It doesn't really sound like the blues as we're doing it slow, does it? That's okay. What you're gonna do is you're going to work on this. You're gonna get your muscle memory used to going stroke, stroke, third fret, third fret, open, open, third fret, third fret. And it's all about your, your muscle memory. Uh, right now, your fingers are fighting against you. Your fingers are fighting against your brain, actually. So what we're trying to do is get this picking hand going so that it's fluid, so that you're not, you're not stressed. And the same with the slide hand. The reason we're doing such simple lessons like this is these are the foundations. And once you get relaxed and as you play these things, then this, this little riff doesn't sound as mechanical. Right now going like this sounds mechanical. Once you get relaxed, you put little accents in there, the ones you're feeling. You see how it sounds like the blues now? going slow it's going but once you're relaxed and you get that speed going you end up with now there's a second way of playing this riff and it's the way I play train kept a rolling in concert where I go like this and this slide is only hitting the low string and I'm just taking it and curling my finger over so that that slide hits the third fret on the low string. Whenever my hand's relaxed, uh, I can actually have my index finger ride behind it to clean it up. But putting it up here for the camera, let me move this out of the way. Putting it up to the camera, you see that this slide is just going... touching that low string while the other two strings are just ringing out. See that? Try it slow. We'll go real slow. this video over and over until you get it and it's nice and relaxed that's the I, I think the entire uh, feel of blues university is to get you guys relaxed to get you guys playing the basic stuff to the point where it's fun that you're actually enjoying it so you'll be sitting there doing this over and over again Let's speed it up. And then I'll take this, the palm, the little chubby palm, or side of my hand here, and I'm going to put it on this bridge once we get a little fast. Dampen that a little bit. Met a dame on a train. She was pretty from New 
York City, get along. There you go. That's it. It is either the slide across all three strings at the third fret or just on the low string. And once you do that, then you start messing around with the side of your hand, put it right over the bridge. And that's where you get that cool muted sound. Now this is a very basic lesson, but you can build on it eventually, like Baby Please Don't Go. Let me switch to a stubby slide, because that's where we get real hot rod stuff. Baby, please don't go. Baby, please don't go. Baby, please don't go down New Orleans. You know I love you so. Baby, please don't go. See, I'm doing that riff for this. But I'm adding. All the other stuff. I think I taught Baby, Please Don't Go in another lesson. But there you go. There's another quick, fun riff. I want you to be relaxed. I want you to enjoy this. Thank you for watching. Hey, if you like the shirt, this is at guitarrags.com. That's all my blues t-shirts, guitarrags.com. Hey, with the holidays coming up, tell them about it, guitarrags.com. A lot of cool stuff. And don't forget my book, Making Poor Man's Guitars, at stubbyslide.com. My name's Shane Spill. Thank you for joining me. Like this video. Make sure you subscribe. And hey, if you really want to spread the word, share this onto your Facebook timeline. That would be awesome. Thanks. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Pick throw.